Hey guys, Wrangler back. And I don't know why I keep going back to this little idiot from Missouri, but his name is JC News Now. Moron. And he knows that he can't go in and do the dumb shit he does, but when he gets called on it, it's always the same rhetoric, but it's tyrants. It's, uh, uh, that's an intimidation tactic. I can do this. It's a public building. I'm going to file a 1983 on you. I'm leaving under duress. I mean, I mean, of his videos, they're, they're a little entertaining for the simple fact that he will play Sod Sit slash Frauded or Bingo on every one of them. So, yeah. And in this one, I'm as advertised, I'm under walk of shame. And in fact, 20% of the video is him doing the walk of shame. And yeah, enjoy, guys. Hello. Hello. This is a Tammy County Sheriff's Office. Let's go and take a look. Probably rather you didn't. Like Sergeant Man's truck. And, oh, wait, look, everybody. Look, he just did a cam back. Since he did a cam back, they, they have civil rights to, to FOIA his footage. You go by their dumbass theory. Restricted access. We won't go past that. Uh, yes, ma'am. Can I get some complaint forms, please? So your your entire trip was literally to go get complaint forms. No, I just I need to fill out some complaints with my attorney. I need three complaint forms and two sunshine requests, please. I don't I don't believe you have an attorney. I don't see how you would keep one on retainer. Well, I got that at home. I can do it at home, I guess. Okay. Well, if you can do it at home, I guess, why didn't you just print them out and do it there? Because it seems like that would be a lot less risky than you having to waste the gas money in your mama's car to risk driving all the way there without a license and then having to pay more money for fines. It just seems like it would have saved you a whole lot of time and possible trouble to just print the shit out at home. But then again, if you did that, you wouldn't get to go harass these people, would you? Okay. Now, y'all don't have complaint forms readily available for the public? No, because most of the public, unlike you, JC, aren't caring. So why don't you just go home and cry on your little cock-shaped pillow, you freaking Karen? No, that's an intimidation tactic, and we won't put up with that. I just need a... What's this we shit? Do you have statement forms? For what? Uh, you don't have officer complaint forms here? Well, see, that's an intimidation tactic, and that's got to end. No, you frauditors have got to end. Dude, I get it. You're a lifetime loser. You're like a late 40s jackass who lives in your mama's single wide. You drive her car even though you don't have a license, which is actually putting your mother at financial danger. You you run the risk of making her not only criminally, but civilly liable. And if you go out there and slide into a family of six or something because she's knowingly letting an unlicensed driver operate her vehicle on the freaking road. That's what's got to stop. Ain't nobody trying to intimidate you. She's freaking 30 feet away from you, and she's talking to you very politely and very plainly. The problem is that you're a petulant-ass little child 
and you're not getting your way. And so you're going to gripe and pitch and cry. And it's, oh, it's tyranny. It's tyranny. It's an intimidation tactic. Dude, do better. Uh. No, I'll, I'll take care of that with my attorney. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, ma'am. What's your name? Holly. Uh, ma'am, do you have a badge number? Oh, my gentle Jesus. Sorry, guys. I got to do it. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response, were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Seriously, does she look like a cop? I try to take pity on you, JC, and every time I do, you go do and say something that is just absolutely almost, I'm almost in awe sometimes at the stupidity that comes out of your mouth. Does she, you have a badge number. Man, shut up. All right. Thank you, ma'am. And let's make this go away. I guess this is a jail. I'm not sure what it is, actually. You don't know what it is, but you're pretty sure it's the jail. Today. It's a nice building. It's beautiful. Really? Never seen a jail. Somebody locked the door. Wait, you mean somebody locked the door in a jail? Wow. Wow. Sounded like that. This guy is like honey boo boo, like level of stupid achieve. Okay, I see it. Well, as thick as those pedo glasses is you're wearing, I'd hope you could see it. Lovely. We know this guy. Public not allowed in the building, sir. It's a public building. It's posted on all doors. Cell phones not allowed in the building. Let's see if there's a um, MoDoc. That's a sign, sir. That's yes, a that is a sign. This is no don't raise your voice with me. Leave my building. Will you arrest get me if I don't? Phone, get the cell phone out of my building. All right. I'll leave under I'll leave duress. I'm... It doesn't matter. Just leave. I'm going to file a 1983 case Take on Take the cell phone out of the building. Or what? You've been told before. Or what? Will you arrest me if I don't? Tell you to leave. For, for what my reason? Court, my court rule, cell phones are not allowed in this facility, you need to leave. For what reason? Because I'm telling you to. Oh. Oh, snap. <laughs> you have the right to remain BOOM! <laughs> yeah. You just got roasted, dude. You just got roasted by a sergeant with a Zach Morris haircut. Absolutely delicious. Oh, is that Are you refusing to leave? No, I'm not okay, refusing. Okay, leave or you're placed under arrest for trespass. Okay, that's all I needed. Thank you. What's your name and badge number? Sergeant Michael Carter, badge number 150. How do you like your video? You're becoming famous. Watch for it on YouTube. Yeah, turn around, walk back in there, get back to work. Well, you're in Missouri, and it's the middle of August. I'm sure it's air-conditioned, so I'd be walking my ass back in the building, too. Stop Stop projecting now. You know you very badly so wanted to be a cop. There you have it, y'all. 
tyranny in action. A rule is not a law. A rule is not a law. This is a public building that we just got trespassed from. Yeah, exactly. But trespassing is a law and a crime. Trespass from public property. That's a 1983 case. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm not in there. I'm out here. You're recording inside this facility. That's, I can see. Are you, are you, familiar, are you familiar with plain view doctrine? As a matter of fact, I am. And I'm so glad you brought it up because plain view doctrine does not apply to you unless you are being charged with a crime. You're not a, you're not a sworn police officer. You're not an investigating officer. So plain view doctrine doesn't apply to you unless you're the defendant in a criminal case. Plain view doctrine is an exception on the Fourth Amendment that allows a police officer who, while conducting a raid, a investigation, that if he sees evidence of criminal wrongdoing out in the public, out in plain view, that he can use that and confiscate that as evidence. That in no way has to do with a lifetime loser who lives in mommy's couch in her single wide filming the inside of a courthouse. Has absolutely nothing to do with it. All right. That's all I needed. He threatened to arrest me. Yes, they did. And on behalf of all of my members and subs, this is for you. That's spelled D I L L I G I M Dilly Gap. And it means. Do I look like I give a fuck, Dilly Gap? Oh, sorry. Love that song. Anyway, let's watch him. We'll listen to him bitch out a little bit more and see a little bit of his monster two-minute walk of shame while he's crying and griping about tyranny and, um, you know, people don't love him. I mean, I can understand why they don't. Tigers. <laughs> I don't know if I want to cue up banjos or violins for him. Public building, sir. Walk of shame. There you have it, folks. Trespass from a public building. That's unlocked. No, actually, you were trespassed from a limited public forum and that is subject to time, place, and manner. And you don't like that because you don't get to be a, spe a freaking spoiled little trailer park child. Awful. It's a 1983 case. Not even close because you're not a journalist, you moron. Care about a rule? It's a rule, a court rule. I'm going to have to pull it up. I know what the Supreme Court says. Oh, really? What's the Supreme Court say, moron? Peekaboo, I see you too. Fucking tired. That's four. You see him? Imagine being such a cuck beta bitch boy. That you have to walk Trespass around looking a through a camera building. thinking that it'll keep you from getting your ass whipped. Truly, truly pathetic. And now he's going to walk the 18 blocks away where he's got his mom's car parked so right, that the cops don't see him getting in a car. And that's where we'll end it, guys. Just for the simple fact that I don't like him. I can't stand him. And I, I think he's pure pure trash. He's a complete low life who literally just goes out to start problems. And like all the other ones that I cover, they want me to stop covering them, stop prodding. Very simple. Anyway, guys, I'll holler at y'all later. It's Wrangler. I love y'all. I'm out of here. Have a good one.